Understanding balance. A lot of the time, balance is actually one of the hardest things that we will achieve within this paradigm. The paradigm being the existence of this present now. We are only existing within the paradigm of our reality. Forming balance is essentially juggling on a seesaw and trying to listen to someone blindfolded without any senses of our ability to try and formulate our own awareness. We're listening to a sense of intuition, which is trying to tell us how and far we should stand and also where we should catch the balls. The world around us is limited to giving us the truth of our existence. We are living within the realms of narcissistic forces, which are essentially compromising our true identity from our true self. We are essentially being given aspects of our originality, but surrounded by the aspects of our originality are a complete negligence it's just completely irrevertibly insane that we've been given a sense of truth so we can connect and we can say yes we're human we're human we have to be we're here no but surrounded by the whole existence of our truth our creation our our existence lives a box and this box has been created to prevent us from accessing a higher sense of existence, a higher sense of reality, a truth within love. It's hiding many of our true secrets of our history, of our and for those who want to stay in ignorance and believe that, just believe in ignorance, there's two types of forces. There's essentially ignorance and there's, there's the ability to be aware. Being aware is a state of acceptance. It's a state of controversy, really. Because the controversy which we are bringing to attention may be the ignorance which is trying to stop our flow of imagination. We are the infinite imagination. We are infinite possibility. And anything which is trying to stop us at a wall and say, no, here's the wall and this is what the wall says. The wall says this is true and this is how it's happened and here it is. Then we say, okay, yeah, all right, there's a wall here. I'll just listen to this, what the wall says, and I'll go back the other way. Now, the truth is, is that if you keep walking, you'll eventually hit another wall, and then the wall will also give you, no, no, this is it. This is the truth. This is existence. And then you say, okay, okay, I'll keep walking, and you'll hit another wall. Now, for many of us, we don't understand that that wall is a box, and every time we try and open our sense of imagination, we hit a wall. We're just hitting another part of the box. The truth is, is that when we hit a wall and we go, okay, I've hit a wall now. Am I going to accept this truth, which apparently is truth? Or am I going to question, is it truthful? And... Is it actually trying to convince me that something exists and something doesn't? And is this creating a sense of ignorance which may actually reflect on stopping me from opening myself to a different state of understanding or a different perception of awareness or a different altering my awareness within consciousness, which is essentially opening our imagination to infinite possibilities? It's all about questioning and creating balance within the existence of negligence and the existence of love.